Hello everybody. I am going to do one more easy Valentine video uh, for super easy Valentines that you can make. And I'm going to, again, use my stamp and my ink, but this time, instead of doing yellows and reds and oranges, I'm going to do a cool color video or a cool color painting um, with blues and purples and pinks as well. Um, also, I wanted to point out, <laughs> I think I just splattered water everywhere, let me get a paper towel. Um, I wanted to show you a neat trick, which is, uh, I saw somebody had done this. I can't remember where I saw this. It was quite a while ago. I believe it was on YouTube and it was a watercolor artist and they had suggested wearing um, these sweatbands to dry your brush off on, which I think is just genius for when you're outside painting. Um, when I'm inside painting, I tend to forget that I have it on and I end up using my paper towel, but it is, um, I don't know, it is, I like it. It's uh, very convenient and a very, um, like I said, if you're outside painting, uh, doing urban sketching, it would be a lot easier than ripping off paper towels and throwing them away. And sometimes they blow away while you're painting and it, it can be quite a hassle. Um, so keep that in mind. That's kind of a neat trick. So today I'm going to do another very loose, um, I probably should have cleaned that, but I'm going to keep, I like the greens that I was working with earlier. So let's just do Mix up some purple and a little more of this um, quinacridone rose. And I had some blues. Was it this blue that I really... That's a nice blue. And maybe even kind of a turquoise-ish flower. And then we'll do this again. Okay. So let's do this same painting with um, purple. Do a few more. That actually is a nice, ends up being kind of a nice, very bluish purple. And I'm going to, again, try to keep it very loose and very I'll throw in now I forgot I kind of want these to run into each other a bit it's kind of I don't like the straight line that that ended up being down down in just a solid straight line. Let's see, we'll do another pretty blue one in here. Maybe even overlap them this time. Let's see, we want a, one that kind of is face down here. And what I'm gonna try to do is remember to put a stem on that. And then, let's see. I'll do another nice pink one hanging down that's a little tulip-ish. Then we'll save some of the green, some of this area for greenery. Maybe do one more kind of drapes over here. Okay, and now let's go back through, add, I hope some of these are wet enough. dark under here and draw 
have some blue in here. Again, I'm trying, really trying to keep it. Boy, that's a super dark one in the middle. Let's kind of move some of that around. All right. Some pretty pink ones here, another pink one there, and maybe we'll keep that area. I don't know if I want to keep it that empty. There we go. Oh, I really love the coloring of some of these. Drop some blue in here, and maybe some in here. Oh, that's giving us some nice color combinations. All right. I'm not hating that one either. Some purple in here let these all mix together and then this one looks like it could use all right not bad um kind of lost my pink up in here maybe we'll add a little Pink in here. See, I'm trying to shape it into flowers again, and I don't want to do that. Add some pink, some pink, pink around here. There we go. Nice. And now I'm gonna let that all kind of bleed together. Um now I'm gonna do Mix up some stem color. A little bit different than what I was using the other day. This one has a little more bluish green in it. And what I want to do, let's see. Let's wet the bottom where the stems go again. Um, because they'll end up <laughs> my dirty water, which is, you know... Sometimes the color of the flowers will, um, well, it's okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Sometimes the color from the flowers bleeds into the water when they're dyed, you know, those dyed flowers that you buy at the grocery store. But sometimes they get a little green from the stems too. So I'm just gonna go like this. Maybe add a touch of some blue. It's just kind of suggesting water. And then here's what I want to do. I want to get some of this green mixed in with the flowers. So that's going to be too wet down there. I'm going to let it sit for a minute, but I want to get some of these stems in because it adds such a nice, sometimes it bleeds in nicely to the flowers. Let's see, we're going to do this one. Now I'm going to try. Last time I did um, one of these florals, I completely missed one of these flowers. Now that could be a big flower, but it could also be kind of going like this. 
this. down actually the stem should look a little bigger underwater okay we're missing this one's gotta come down center in here. Let's see. Put a center in a few of these. It's nice at different stages of the drying process here to add I like the, I feel like some of the purple. Let's do little tiny dots back here. Okay. pink one feels weird to me, but I'm not quite sure. <sighs> Do I want to? I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it. Maybe I'll just kind of. Do that. And then that. There. I kind of messed up. Right? That kind of interrupted. I didn't like that big just plain piece of pink right there. Um, let's see. I'm going to kind of darken under here. And again, I'm trying not to go too... I want to keep it abstract. Oh, I like what's happening here. really like this one in the middle. Keep that like that. Do a little more. That. A little more dark there. And this one was kind of, this one's kind of feeling like that one, but I don't want to. Let me see. I like the blue. Okay, maybe we'll do... that. Maybe I'll 
can see fussing with it too much to make it look um, not did something weird. Here's what I think I'm gonna do. Oh, I like that. But you can also then just drop the teeniest bit of water in there and move that paint. I do like doing that. Let's see. Drop a little drop there. And maybe along here. See how that spreads the paint in here to make it, to, it just moves the pigment for you. And when you're doing things like these cool, oh, I love that, I like it. Let's see, I might've done a little too much there, but here you can kind of come back in with a little bit of purple. That's going to give it its own little modeled look. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like the... Uh, spot of the more magenta-ish purple. Nice. Although, this shouldn't be see-through. Do I want to, what do I want to do there? Bring it in like that. That's a little better. And then I might, let's see. Do I want to add a little touch of this light? Oh, I like that. I'll add a little yellow couple other spots. Mm. Okay. A little touch there. Just little dots of yellow. Maybe one here. Okay. And I kind of lost my I have to do these. I don't want to wet it too much, but I do. These these disappeared, so it was too wet. Kind of want some going straight up and down. And then I think in this one, I'm liking this, I'm liking all of that. I might have washed that out a little too much, but maybe, or maybe I should just take a tiny bit and just take a few little spots out of here. I like that. Oh, I like that. You guys like that? I love this. Let's see. I, I, this, like the other stuff, you really don't want to go overboard on. I like it. I like it. I don't like that yellow, but sometimes you just have to leave it alone and let it kind of do its thing. Now let's see. I wonder why these are running so much more, which is okay. I must have just let it, I might have wet it a little too much. Um, now let's see, this little drop off here is a little annoying. Let's go through and put 
dark in some spots. The, the glass container, usually glass, it's clear, but you, if I had anything behind this, you'd see the things behind it. Um, and, and the light kind of like bounces off the walls, but in here, um, also maybe a little purple in here because kind of would have a little reflection of some of this purple that's going on inside or outside of the glass. Let me see. Even maybe touch up here. And then see if I can smudge this line is a little strong. Maybe just go down the whole side, a little bit of purple and the bottom of this should be darker. I'm going to make it a darker green though, not so much blue. And then let's see, somebody had said, put in, did I, is that something on top of there? No. So what should I do? Put another flower there. Let's, since I got, <laughs> it's like I got some. Some type of a dot there make it kind of a lavender ish now I could kind of do that on the other side Kind of fixes it a little bit. Put a little bit of that back here. A bit of purple. A bit of purple. Coming down through the back there. And then, so these are a little crazy, but I am liking the jar. soften this reflection and also kind of purple that up. Okay, let's see, that should go through to here. And I am this time did not do any kind of um, shadow. Let's see. is a little wet but it adds a nice little
kind of anchors it a little bit. run this off the page like that and this can be again doesn't have to be want it there a little huh yeah I like it do we want to add something valentine-ish i don't know do we want to splatter oh, maybe i'll splatter i could splatter some pink and that could make it just like very light oh kind of like it I wanted it right here. Sometimes I like the splatter and sometimes I don't. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's kind of do this. There. And. We will maybe do an I love you. Maybe not. Maybe I'll leave well enough alone. 